For the fourth regatta of the five-event 2022 season, the 52 Super Series returns to beautiful Tuscany and to the Marina de Scarlino. At stake is the historic Royal Cup. After a five-year break, the return to Scarlino in Tuscany is a popular one. Ashore, there is great local food and wine to be enjoyed, and on the water, well, it's a challenging, dynamic and interesting race area. Important crew changes and the different lineups see the underperforming platoon of Harm Muller Spear bring in three times title winning tactician Vasco Vascotto. Honestly, I never expected to sail with him in one boat because we had so many shit fights in the, in the past on the water against each other. But after we have been a few days in the boat together, it's working fine. What we suppose we fight a lot in the past. The reality is that we have a good relationship. Let's prove that we are tough enough in the water to deserve some good results. Andy Soriano's Allegri recruit young blood double Olympic medalist Will Ryan. I did want to bring some young young people into the group. After some evaluation, we felt that Will was the right guy. So Nick chose Will and gave him the nod. We have to balance my age with a, with a younger guard. <laughs> yeah, I'm really lucky, obviously, stepping into an experienced team and Nick trained them well beforehand. I'm very quiet on the boat and Nick's really good at just kind of leading the team. So I think we, we work well together in that respect. And quantum racing are missing longtime mainsail trimmer Warwick Fleury. Chris Hoskins stepped in for Warwick Fleury. He's stepping into probably the best mainsail trimmer in the world's shoes. You know, as we know, Warwick is the goat. And so after a season that maybe seems to have encountered mainly light to moderate winds, uh, Scarlino really delivers in every sense, building up to 25 knot breezes at times, averaging probably 20 knots, and there's lots of big waves for spectacular racing. Newcomers value open with a win but 2021's champion Sled streaked to a run of form early on, leading in the early stages Murray Jones and Francesco Bruni, the Sled afterguard, working a particular magic. Keiko and Murray are really doing the magic. They just see things that other boats don't see and boat is fast. Mr. Kura is doing a great job downwind. So yes, all good. In the middle of the regatta, Platoon vindicate the changes with their best day of the season yet. It's just a, a matter to, to sail properly the boat. Nothing changed, it's still sailing. Still you need to pin the committee, pin the pin and choose one side. It's quite easy. And although sled lead into the final Saturday showdown, Quantum Racing prevail once again to win their third regatta of the season. That's a well-earned win and you, know, you have to give high marks to Doug and to the whole squad for it. So it's a good one knowing that I steered the boat for Charles and we got fourth and every regatta Doug has steered, we've won. So I think there's something to that DeVos guy. <laughs> we want to win the battle in Scarlino, but we also want to win the war. Sled takes second and Platoon sneak onto the podium.